welcome back everybody from around the bend i'm your guy and we are here with our third that's right third digimon tcg opening i am addicted to these cards baby uh, so before we get into everything else go ahead and hit that like button hit that subscribe button and definitely hit that notification bell button so that way you don't miss out on anything and so in our previous videos we have opened up the Gaia Red starter deck, and we have opened up the Bam Octus, oh, Coctus Blue starter deck, and now it is time for us to open the Digimon card game starter deck, Heaven Yellow. That's right. Go ahead and look at this beautiful box art. Bam! There it is. Go ahead. There's TK. There's Andromon. Look at him. Fierce. 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 Uh, that is right. And so I'm really, really excited to be able to get into this and see kind of what we get inside. Um, I'm really, really excited. This is the third starter deck um, that is so far released, I believe. I could be wrong. Um, but if there are more, we definitely will try to get our hands on them and open them up on the channel as well. So without further ado, let's open. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. If you have been on this journey with us, you know that we love Digimon. We do love Digimon. We do love Digimon. And the fact that they are now a card game, the fact that we can collect these things, the fact that we can play with these guys now, once again, this is really, really, really exciting. Um, so here is the box art. It includes a booster pack, which we will save for a special time. Um, but here it is, Bandai in the corner, Andromon TK. Gotta love it, gotta see it. Digimon card, price, love it, option, tamer, Digimon, Digi-Egg, all the fun things that are here. And then this is kind of like the set list that comes with it. And now without further ado, we are going to open this bad boy. We're going to try and keep this nice and neat and clean in terms of the opening just because... Um, these are really, really still hard to come by. I've, I was only able to get one um, of each of the starter decks, and I didn't know that like part of the starter decks, you, you should kind of get more than one just so that way you are ready to go. However, with the yellow, um, I've been seeing and reading up that you actually are really like good to go right away. Um, you don't need another starter deck. Um, the recommended for this is you're good with uh, with one. Um, but if you, uh, unlike the other two where you kind of need two starter decks to really like fill it out the deck, it's kind of really nice that you, in the starter deck meta, that you can open these bad boys up and get yourself ready to go. So we have here our deck of cards and then we're gonna have another pack art Ooh, i don't know the other digimons but this one is omnimon and i know this guy so this is actually really nice version 1.0 um oh metal gururumon and war Greymon. this is awesome um definitely want to get our hands on the other packs as well too um as much as we can so this is really really awesome that we're able to have that Alrighty then y'all, let's go ahead and take a look at these guys right here. And so, bada bing, bada boom, we move this guy off. And once again, the star deck comes with your instructions on how to play the game. Um, here's your rule guide, here's how to set up uh, the field and everything else, and your memory gauge. So here we go, we're playing with resources and everything else like that this is your memory and things so this is resources for how you play the cards um and depending on what number you're on is depending on how many moves you can make in one turn all right so the red deck like we talked before the red deck is really aggressive uh the blue deck is really more about control um in terms of what people have on the field for their digivolutions and how you can play around with that and also it's just you getting your you getting memory back so being able to do that multiple times in this deck however they really really play with um they're not as strong so like you you won't you won't beat out a red or a yellow like just outright in terms of power however where you do have the advantage is that this deck is centered around lowering the dp 
of Digimon, which is really, really cool. Um, and so that way you have card effects that are able to do that. You have Digimon effects that are able to do that. And, and the interesting fact is, is that once a Digimon uh, damage points goes all the way down to zero, then that Digimon is deleted. So you do have a way of removing cards um, in a different sense that the other two decks do not have. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at this guy. We got Tokomon, which will have added into our Patamon. So here is our main starter. Digi egg, which we use in our nursery area to hatch um, the eggs and get us started on our chains. Um, I'm not, I forget this guy. He is one of the Digi Destins as well, too, but I forget which one. But we love to see it. And automatically, once uh, this is an inherited effect, once per turn, when an opponent's Digimon is deleted by dropping to zero DP, this Digimon gets 1000 DP for the turn. So, really, it's really focusing on the deletion of DP damage points there. Here is Salomon, aka Gatoman. Look at how cute. Um, and there's the little Digi uh, egg that hatches into Salomon, I believe. If I'm wrong, please tell me. But I believe these two are the ones that are connected through the show. Um, 3000 DP. Um, ne necessarily really won't be playing this often, but this is just a way to make sure that you're able to Digivolve on the next level up. And as for the other star decks, you typically get f uh, four of these cards uh, per. Per structure deck, uh, that is the most cards that you can have. From For some of the higher cards that are in here, you usually only have two. So we'll see what this one has because I've been told that you only need one structure deck to really fill it out. So let's let's, let's find out. So we do get the four Salamons. Um, Tapirmon um, is a yellow um, and he's just a normal level, uh, level three. Just no effects, he's just there. Um, 4,000 DP. And here is Patamon once again. When an opponent's Digimon is deleted by dropping a zero DP, gain one memory. So we're able to get memory back. We're able to play more cards, more resources, if we can um, start to really chain the zero DP here. Um, and so that is another level three that you can use in action. And we have four of those. Angemon is our next level four, which we get to play for cheaper. So this is your memory cost up here. You have to play, pay five memory in order to go for it or pay two memory um, if you digivolve it. Um, when attacking, if you have more four or more security cards, gain one memory. You start off the game with five security cards. Um, and so um, security cards are basically your life points. Um, you have five, if all five are gone, you have no more shields, you have no more ways before people kind of, you know, that's your security, right? You have five security. Um, um, if those are gone, then someone's free to attack you directly. And um, if they attack you directly, that, that is game. So if you are able to secure your security cards, this card's clutch because you get one memory. And once again, that allows you to play uh, more turns. So Angemon's there. We got Gatomon, a nice little level four. Digivolution, no uh, skill. But she's swinging. She's swinging her nice little ring in the background right here as well. I forget what move this was. Nice little angel fist, but definitely glows. Yo, I loved him in the show. I loved loved him. When he finally evolved, or digivolved, excuse me, he finally digivolved, and this is what he came into. I was cheering. I was cheering. I was so hype. It was so majestic. One of the hypish moments as like as a 10-year-old just watching Patamon finally, finally digivolving. He was trying so hard, he was training so hard, and he just couldn't let it down. And when it happened, you like you like you 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 got got really like emotional um it was, it was it was it was a great moment unimon this thing was scary because it had it uh, when you were first introduced to this i remember it having a gear um in it um which was used to control uh digimon against their will and so this thing was just attacking them and i was like oh my gosh and then it turned out to be such a nice little digimon it just was just aggravated because of the gear that was there uh but this is a blocker and once again these blockers are unique only to the starter decks and so if you want a blocker you definitely do have to get a starter deck um for the deck color so we have this uh per usual blockers are able to uh, instead of the opponent attacking your security, they have to attack uh, the blocker instead. Um, so 6 DP, which is the same throughout all of the decks. And we get four of those as well. Magna Angemon, look at his beauty. Look at his beauty when attacking. 
one of your opponent's Digimon gets one minus 1,000 DP for the turn. So now we're starting to see how this DP is starting to decrease. So this is this is really cool. So you, when attacking, you can attack directly like the security or you can attack a Digimon. Either way, this effect applies. And so if we start doing, you know, we get four of these out here some way, somehow, that's 4,000 um, that's gone from people. And then, um, as you can see, once you want to get to the higher levels, that's when you start to get a lot more DP. So if you're able to kind of like cut it right away in the beginning, um, before they can digivolve um, and everything else like that, you really can control the game that way. Then we got Angel Woman, who is probably a key to this deck right here. When digivolving, when you have three security cards or less, trigger recovery plus one. Place the top card of your deck onto the top of your security stack. So. You just get to build your security back up. And so like that is such a powerful effect. You Digimon up here. Oh, you brought me down to three shields. Ha ha, psych, I'm at four. She's majestic, she's beautiful, and she's here to protect you um, just like all women do. And so that's really, really awesome. Manja Magna Angemon also has this nice little glowing purple ray thing with the gold. These, these, cars, these, these card designs are just so nice and really love uh, just how they look even side by side um but magna angemon is our reverse we see the hollow here um angel woman also would have been lovely to see her in the reverse um as well too just because i really really do love her effect and how many do we get of her we get four in the structure deck as well so that's actually really nice we get magna Dramon. he's just magna Dramon. just 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 a high strong um Digimon, similar before, um, when we've seen these in the other decks, play 10, 12 DP, two, two to Digivolve it, and then it's just really good to just attack and, and just see kind of like where it goes. Um, there we go, we get two of these guys, and then Sephiramon. Whoo, baby! So, what's lovely about him, he also plays into these DP, but this time, however, when one of your opponent's Digimon gets when you're attacking one of your opponents you want to get some minus 4,000 TP for this turn so if you are able to let's say you digivolve Angel Woman, who's your level 5 and then you put her on top of and you put digivolve Sephiramon on top of her but then you also keep your um, Andromon or your Magna Andromon in play you are now like one opponent gets minus four, uh, one Digimon gets minus 4,000, the other Digimon gets minus 1,000. Um, and you can start to see really how it just starts to stack. Um, and they really start to lose opportunities here to really gain their DP. And once it's decreased, y'all, once it's decreased, it stays decreased. So it doesn't re, oh, it says for the turn. So I actually just read that wrong. <laughs> but it is for the turn, but still, however, that is still very, very powerful uh, to be able to do that. But it does get decreased, and you can see through the other mods that get stacked, you can decrease it really quickly. So, on your opponent's turn, all of your security Digimon gets 22,000 DP. This is your tamer. So, if an opponent attacks your security, and it's a mon, right? Uh, and it's, let's say this happens to be my security card, I would get 12,000. So, if they're attacking, I only had 10,000 this would get destroyed because it is a security attack, so it doesn't go away. However, their Digimon also gets destroyed too, so they are no longer a threat to us from that sake. So that is really nice. So we get four of these TK Takashi. Here's Magna Andromon's uh, attack, Heaven's Gate. One of your Digimon gets 3,000 DP for the turn, so these are good ways to boost, and it's cheap too, it's 1,000, so that's really a nice option card to be able to play that. However, if it is a security card, which is a nice little effect, all of your Digimon security Digimon get 5,000 DP for the turn, then add this card to its owner's hands. So we get in the security base, it gets triggered, we get 5,000 for the turn. So if, if they were to attack the security one more time as another Mon, we get that plus 5,000. If they try to attack our, our Digimon, they get 5,000 and we get to put this in our hand. So then when we get to, when we, it's our turn, we play it for only one and we get 3,000 back. So this is really nice to have. And so Heaven's Charm, the security effect here, we just get to keep the card. I mean, the card comes back to us if it's attacking security. However, one of your opponents gets minus 2,000. So this is a nice, a lovely thing here. We get to start deleting that damage point so his DP goes away. Holy Flame here. 
All of your opponents gain a security, security attack minus one. This Digimon checks one fewer security card for the turn. So if they're only allowed to security check one card, that means they can't security check you at all. Therefore, your securities or your life points are safe. Um, I'm sorry that I always refer them to life points. I feel like that makes it a very easier transition. If you are new to this, that's how I kind of equated it to make it like easier for me. Um, but I definitely will stop doing that soon. Um, but however, one of your Digimon gains Opponent gets security attack minus three. This Digimon checks three fewer security cards until the end of your opponent's next turn. So again, really, really great way of stopping uh, Mons from attacking you. So these option cards are really, really big. We get four of them as well. Here is a nice, lovely one, seven heavens. One of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 10,000 DP for the turn. Like, there's really not much that's really higher than 10,000. And if there is, you also still have um, your your uh, Sephiramon, which minuses 4,000. You have your Magna, Magna Andromon, who does a minus 1,000. So even if there's something that is above 10,000 DP that you don't really regularly see, but if they do have that, there here's a way to really kind of just chop them down. Security. Uh, is just activate this card's main effect. So we get to play that instantly without having to pay its cost, right? So kind of would love to see this in security at the same time. Um, and so let's look at our special art one more time, just because it is a beautiful card. So here, here he is. The wings just fly off the borders. I really do love this like full art look foil the shine really does look heavenly and like that's that's the point of Reformon. um but like this is none of these starter decks fail to like i'm just this is just beautiful um and i'm really really glad that we got to get our hand on all three um and get to add these to our collection and hopefully get to play these um as well too Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the third starter deck opening here on the channel. Um, I'm so, so, so excited that we were able to do this. If you guys really, really like what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and definitely hit that notification bell button. Go ahead and leave a comment below on this. What was your favorite card art? Digimon's card art is, is, is astounding. Like, all the cards look beautiful. They put so much detail into them and, and their foil work, woo, their foil work. Don't even get me started. Um, I'm really, really excited to see this and I'm just excited to see what can come in the future with these. Um, they're currently right now really hard to get a hold of, but the more that I can, the more that I would love to share with you guys as well too. So definitely go ahead, hit that like button once again um, to really just show your love and show your support. So until next time, y'all, peace.